think it's important having something like a connection with the time environment with the telephone mm -hmm. or something. It's more in line with the, the actual soundscape as it's changing temporarily yeah. all right. the yeah. time. Play and walk and really, <coughs> they don't have a... a I'm Enrique Tomás, I'm a sound artist and developer of uh, No Tours. No Tours is a tool for augmented orality. Orality uh, is everything that uh, is connected with listening and this is what we want to do, really augmenting the act of listening in a place. Um, yeah, I'm here in, in Manchester working with, with Novars Research Center, like with the composers and uh, members of, of, of Novars for yeah, developing projects of augmented orality connected with specific places of, of Manchester. The reason why we got involved with uh, this wonderful project from Cities of Manchester is because we focused our research on sound and we thought the idea of exploring the city uh, through the use of sound was something that we have never done before. We have a number of composers here very excited about the idea of uh, starting to work with what is called normally in museums audio guides that we call um, uh, augmented reality tools that basically consist of um, you know, headphones and a smartphone that you wear on the city street uh, to try to discover places through sound. Uh, thanks to Enrique and Notus, um, also Escoitar in Galicia, we managed to put a project together that started from almost uh, just a few ideas and became five different compositions in, that we explored together in town in the, main, in the month of June. The idea of working in collaboration with someone that can reprogram the tool and improve it as the piece progresses, as the ideas um, expand, is a, a luxury for a composer. Well, we we always have to work with with local people in in um, in a way that they they gave us the clues and the keys for understanding the places first. No, so yeah, that's why we organize these workshops, not really for for getting. Um, I know, like a touch of what's moving in that place, no? So the best thing is really working with, yeah, people like interested in the area of, of audio, sound, and why not like creative people. So the Sonic Metontology Tour that we did in Manchester comprised five different compositions that started with a bus trip from the Manchester University. Now we stopped at Canal Street and went through the canal with all the sounds, it was just also a uh, uh, wonderful section and then we stopped in, in near the JMEX where there was a piece um, let's say recreating the Peter Lu massacre and it was quite interesting then we moved to Chinatown that was my own my own composition and then we end up uh, just be in the part of the Piccadilly Street where you have the tram passing by and the, and the bus uh, and creating a sort of super train kind of uh, um, walk in that square, mixing perhaps reality with fiction, time with uh, sort of working within a sort of time capsule. We could hear things that happened in the square but were not there present at the time. Uh, the composers really understood the, um, the need of, of the act of listening on the streets and, and why it could be really interesting for, for, for them, uh, going out of the concert hall and really connecting to the places where they are usually, I don't know, living, like strolling every day to go uh, to their studios and really, I don't know, like the, the daily life, you know? I, I see the uh, collaboration with uh, No Tours as just as, as, as the beginning. It has so much potential, not only because of the technological aspects of the compositional side, because of it's really merging with other disciplines, uh, that sometimes are associated to music, sometimes are not so associated with archaeology, history, uh, the study of the cities them itself, that the potential is just enormous. I think we can consider this first uh, 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 collaboration as an experiment, maybe try to create some links with other cities in, in, in the north of, uh, in the northwest, or maybe some other countries that have the same tradition, maybe trying to find something with uh, that is in common with other cities that we could explore as a sort of macro project where Manchester is a reference point for some of the things that are being shared with other cities. Yeah, what I, uh, I found that, yeah, well, this is a place where, of course, the development of the city uh, 
is present in terms of noise, in terms of uh, people, in terms of, um, I don't know, even traffic, no? But um, there's a still like, uh, or you can find still like corners or, I don't know, small streets where everything like, I don't know, it, it looks like it opens like a new dimension where uh, of intimacy, of uh, something connected with with uh, maybe yeah an old industry that was there or a small shop or that is really like a, I don't know opening a window for for knowing the people of the uh, of of Manchester, no? That basically is uh, I think a city is is really that, no? People, no? Mm. 